ask any artist to define what an artist is, and you know, they all have their own answers. It's all about investing yourself and believing in what you're doing and being happy about it and learning from the experience. And, and if you, I think if you're conscious of what's going on while you're living life, then, then you're in a good place. Well, I think it just enriches all of us, that it's just part of the, um, I know, wonders just all around us, this, you know, great diversity. Madison is brimming with artists. And every time that there's a, a blink um, application deadline, there's always lots of people who have turned in the application, gone through the system. So we know that people can fill this gap. And having art around uh, is just, it's like, it's, it's a spice. It just gives a city flavor and character. Like with your peak pods, some people notice them and some people don't. Some people kind of just walk right by and it's like they've never been there. But so that's what you're creating here is, is more just art in the everyday quotidian life. And, and it's, color it's cute. and fun. Yeah. This thought keeps running through my head that's like, what else? Uh, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. And then I think when you reach that point, where you are creating and doing, you know, physical labor, but also just incredibly, you know, joyful and happy about it, then it's this whole new level of work that's just, I don't know, amazing. And what I really think is, what, uh, I think what living is all about. It's good as an artist to, to be pushed out of your comfort zone. If your art becomes too comfortable, that's a problem. So that was good. That was definitely a good thing. Was it scary? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want people to know? I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Anybody, anybody out there look? Anybody out there looking for a uh, creative uh, individual? I'm, uh, I'm willing to talk. More than more than happy to sit down and negotiate. <laughs> it'll take it'll take a uh, a rather broad-minded corporation. <laughs> Controversy is part of making public art, and it's something an artist should learn to deal with if they really want to contribute things of value. Uh, public art should be challenging. You can't do public art that's just to the lowest common denominator where you're going to please everyone. That's, to me, not the point of art. Art is supposed to push buttons. It's supposed to challenge people. It's supposed to um, make people make uh, difficult decisions. Uh, and more than anything, it's supposed to confuse people, too. It's supposed to make people think. I actually get people asking me quite often about projects and where did it go? I saw it, I saw it two weeks ago and now it's gone. Uh, so I think the concept is a wonderful concept and it makes people think and we know that thinking people are better than non-thinking people. I hope that people look at these and um, are just reminded of the fact that it's, it, it is the people that make up any place. Right, who, who bring life to a place, who make its history, who fill it with stories. And even if someone's thinking, hey, you know, I, I'm in this neighborhood too, but I'm not represented here, hopefully they'll realize like, yeah, but you're still part of the story. You're still part of the portrait. And, and, and maybe one day I'll get a picture of you anyway.